Now, let's talk about the worries in the market. Uh, well, I'll, I'll talk about uh, crypto first, since uh, uh, Treasury Secretary uh, Janet Yellen, I think twice this week, or maybe it was in the last two weeks, has gone out of her way, maybe in, uh, a, in an answer to questions, I don't know, but uh, has gone out of her way to telegraph how speculative uh, Bitcoin is and um, how it's not environmentally friendly or sustainable and how it is um, uh, it, 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 it helps illicit activity or encourages and, and so forth um, and uh, I'm not quite sure why she's saying this uh, I, I, all I know is that she is she doesn't understand the crypto space and um, I say this with all due respect, um, I just don't think it is what she does. She's responding to a movement in price, that I understand, uh, which has been very uh, rapid. Uh, think about it, I think up fivefold, uh, yeah, up fivefold since uh, the end of the third quarter. Uh, that's pretty extreme. Uh, so I can understand her saying that. As far as the environment, I encourage you to uh, look up uh, Yassine Almandra's white paper on our website, uh, arc-invest.com, and you will find in, uh, I think, uh, the second to the last white paper uh, uh, that he addressed, no, it was a white paper on mining. He addressed this uh, environmental issue. And if you compare... Uh, the, uh, the energy use uh, of Bitcoin in particular, uh, compared to the energy it would take to mine gold, Bitcoin is digital gold, it's a fraction of it. And then if you want to think about it a little bit more broadly, uh, because of course the Bitcoin blockchain and other blockchains uh, are going to enable much uh, more rapid settlement uh, of trades uh, and transactions um, than, than the traditional financial institution, say 10 minutes as opposed to a week or a few days. Uh, think about the energy consumption of the traditional financial world, uh, and you'll see in that chart uh, what, what Bitcoin is... Um, uh, using in terms of energy right now, which is mostly renewable, by the way, hydroelectric and other renewables, um, is again fraction. There's it's it, it, it hardly measures up at all to to that. There's, as far as criminal activity, I mean, I'll just uh, reflect on a conversation that I had uh, at a conference with an FBI agent very early on in my um, understanding or learning about Bitcoin. And uh, he said, this is the best thing that ever happened to us. Uh, uh, what, what does the FBI do? It's filled with cryptographers who are uh, able to uh, break codes and figure out uh, illicit activity. Um, we, and and they, they have been able to. Uh, one of the reasons is that the Bitcoin blockchain is so transparent by IP address. Uh, so pattern recognition, cri crypto cryptography, um, an interesting uh, way to think about it. And, uh, and as far as speculative, uh, sure, it's, it's had a very big move recently. And I would say some of the uh, recent buyers uh, might have been influenced by other people and not a real understanding of what is going on here. Uh, but as I did say this week, and uh, I saw it in a report uh, or in a headline, I did say, we, uh, and go through Yassine's paper, we can see trillions of dollars um, in use cases for, uh, for Bitcoin. And uh, I think the most important thing that we as investors need to do is be very supportive of those who are evolving this ecosystem. Uh, and so we at ARC are thinking about ways to uh, help the community um, in terms of Bitcoin developers to uh, secure the network. It is right now the most secure blockchain technology out there. 
And so for very high value transaction, think a million dollar transaction, um, it does take 10 minutes and that seems to be a complaint and it is a complaint relative to other blockchains that uh, involve smart contracts that are uh, instantaneously settled. Uh, but this is the most secure network and one reason is that uh, 10 minutes. And if, if the cost is, I don't know, uh, $10, and I'm not quite sure what the cost is, but compared to the cost uh, to transfer a million dollars through traditional financial systems, um, you know, there is no comparison. So uh, our confidence in, uh, in Bitcoin and, and the block, Bitcoin blockchain has continued to grow over the years, as I think we've um, stated very often.